prep or DDP as it was known was established in 2006 with a full complement of six staff members. Over the last 12 years we migrated to a complement of 52 staff members. That includes of course our students and postdocs. Our focus of our research is on prevention and early detection of metabolic disease and then also development of new therapeutics. Professor Gray and, uh, and Professor Chegege, we said it took two and a half years of planning and a lot of lot, labor, stress and all sorts of uh, putting the staff under and especially last year I think we had space half the size to do fifth, to a, people to do their research which was not always the best conditions but we continued and we're standing here today. So for those of you, although you work in the MRC, you might not know the mission um, off by heart like I do. Um, and the, the mission of the MRC is to fund and conduct science and research that changes the lives of South Africans. And we know that um, South Africa has a quadruple burden of disease and we've spent a lot of time um, uh, trying to find uh, ways of minimizing communicable diseases like HIV and TB and find innovation in that area. And we've neglected a lot of other diseases, particularly non-communicable diseases. And having something like this year says that uh, South Africa understands that we are in the grips of a, of a, a non-communicable disease epidemic and that we have to find local solutions um, for, for the diseases that, that affect South Africans. And Johannes understood the, the importance of non-communicable diseases and diabetes, but he's also understood that um, we have some valuable indigenous, indigenous knowledge systems in South Africa. And he's harnessed um, the, the local indigenous knowledge and tried to use um, what we um, have in South Africa as, as, um, as um, indigenous plants and herbs to try and find some solutions for South Africa. And so, um, it's, so I'm really happy that um, not only do we uh, commit to non-communicable diseases, but we commit to finding local solutions uh, for the problems that we have. I'm excited to be here with you today for you to realize your vision, your long-term dream of having this brief lab. Uh, it is exciting to see colleagues and people like yourselves, uh, you that had been patient for more than two years waiting for this to come true. And yet in that time you didn't have excuses, you continued to really do excellent work and they really do capacity building which is actually uh, something that a lot of institutions cannot do. So as you know, of course, failure, real failure is failure to make the best with what you have. And we have made excellent progress with what you have. Carrying on the theme of the importance of NCDs and the importance of capacity development, and the, the uh, analogy of you judge a person by the, the friends, who they keep their friends. Well, you can judge a supervisor by the students and the capacity development that they do. And the one thing that stands out for me more than anything about the, the, the BRIP unit is go and talk to the students and the staff that work there. They're really high class scientists and uh, I think we can, it's a unit that the MRC can be very proud of. So, so I'm not going to talk any more than that and say, Jan, congratulations um, to you and to the team to having this wonderful launch and uh, may wish you all the best um, in the next few years in it. I joined the Burip in 2015 and back then when I joined we only had one tissue culture lab and we had uh, one lab which basically did everything that is molecular based wise. So having the new labs will really help us a lot because it's a new lab, uh, new equipment uh, and also we have a lot of space so that a lot of people can work in the labs and we can also you know that with more work done uh, there comes with more public so it's very good for us and it's also going to enhance our skills. My experience with the mentorship here is that it's just been incredible. As a student and as a young scientist, we're not only being trained with state-of-the-art equipment, but we're also being guided and developed as professionals. And I think that that is so valuable for us as young people. Coming from a purely academic background, um, throughout my most postgraduate career, you're always limited by certain things such as funding and um, the accessibility to certain equipment and instruments. And by providing such a platform, the BRIP has really encouraged and enhanced the quality of research that you can get out of it at the end. It means to be part of a platform that provides um, research and innovation 
to those that are willing and have a passion in science. The best thing about MRC that I have experienced myself is we are being of afforded opportunities to pursue our own research. You don't feel that you have to toe the line. And the people that are here, they're very experienced and it's been really a wonderful experience, Johan. Thank you very much. Now my message today to the upcoming young scientists currently embarking on your masters or your PhD is to seize every opportunity. Institutions such as the SAMRC exist and are breaching a gap, enabling students from previously disadvantaged universities to conduct quality research that is not only translatable but also improve the quality of life of our community but also our country as a whole. So my message to the young scientists there is that if you are given an opportunity, grab it with both hands. Don't let anything really to stop you. The ball is in your hands, it's up to you, it's possible.